as arva mentioned i will be spe speaking about cryptocurrency but before we go into the details let me tell you something briefly about the history of the payment system when society was in its early stages there was no such thing as money let alone cryptocurrency we, we all know the barter system right but the problem was difficulty in finding exact matches for our trade items that's where currency came in earlier the coins or currency was made up of precious metals such as gold and silver so people accepted that this that this coin has some value also you could use these coins to buy whatever you want this system has evolved and banks became established soon the governments managed these currencies making it centralized paper money was used instead of precious metal coins as they were more convenient furthermore it has value only because the government says it has value as technology progressed we found an even more convenient way of transferring the money nowadays one generally transfers money online with the help of the internet this introduction was to give you guys a context about where cryptocurrency currently stands the next era may be of cryptocurrency cryptocurrency is a virtual currency and has value like money that can be sent from one wallet to another a wallet is a place to store your cryptocurrency what makes cryptocurrency different from conventional currency is that is decentralized meaning it is a direct peer to peer payment system without any central authority being involved in each transaction so how did it all start in 2008 an unknown group of people by the name of satoshi nakamoto invented the first cryptocurrency called bitcoin with the same purpose stated before currently there are over 4000 different types of cryptocurrencies already and each one was made with different purpose uh, along with property for example ethereum which is the second most popular coin after bitcoin that can process transaction even faster than bitcoin there is one called litecoin which has a newer algorithm dogecoin which was made as a joke but now its price has skyrocketed let me tell you something briefly about cryptocurrencies working cryptocurrencies rely on cryptography for its security and management cryptography is the mathematical and computational practice of encoding and decoding data anyone with a computer and an internet connection can download a can download a wallet that is a place to to store all your cryptocurrency as mentioned earlier that wallet has an address a long string of random numbers and letters called the public key that lets people find the account on the network along with the public key you also get a private key that acts as a proof that you actually own the public key it also allows you to access your wallet an easy way to understand public and private keys is to think of public keys as your home address and private key as the key to your front door but why even use cryptocurrency in the first place it has quick as well as easy transactions incredible security and low fees if you transfer traditional currency through banks from one country to another you would need to do a lot of paperwork moreover the transaction could take up to half a day plus with greater transaction fees as compared to crypto transactions but with crypto you can do the same thing within minutes with just a few clicks as we all know everything has a flip side to it it is difficult to trace the real identity of the person who made the transaction because all the transactions are pseudo anonymous meaning anyone can see the transactions but they can't necessarily see the person's actual identity however when criminals convert cryptocurrencies to traditional currencies it alerts the government banks the bank would ask them where all of this money came from and their cover would be blown that's another difference between traditional currency and cryptocurrency the value of cryptocurrency such as bitcoin can change significantly so people don't feel it safe to turn their real money into bitcoins another good question you might ask why is it available for everyone to see the transactions that's the very purpose of crypto the inventor made sure that all the transactions are transparent and stored as algorithms so the people can see but cannot tamper with it all the transaction are stored in something called a blockchain and several copies of it are present in everyone's computer who has downloaded the wallet software meaning there are millions of copies of the blockchain so if anyone hinders with their local wallet to change the amount of coins present in it 
99% of the computers will say oh this wallet had x amount of coins how did it increase to y amount of coins and will change the number of coins to the original amount one more issue that since it is decentralized who will manage the storage and transactions of the same that's where crypto mining comes in mining is a process of verifying transactions which involves solving complex math problems as the blockchain is public it is important for the transactions to be verified to prevent fraudulent transactions the first miner which solved the problem add new blocks of verified verified transactions to the blockchain and earn cryptocurrency in return mining requires huge computational power and electricity resulting in leaving a massive carbon foot footprint but you can counter this by saying that traditional banks use more electricity but with the with the rise of cryptocurrency comes the added risk of cyber crimes that only proper crypto cyber security can solve unfortunately its popularity has attracted plenty of attention in the criminal underworld they appeal to criminals because it is popular but still not widely understood last year twitter accounts of famous personalities like former president obama bill gates and elon musk were hacked and to told their followers to send them $1000 in return promising $2000 in return thinking that tweets were made by well known personalities people blindly sent the money to the hackers in spite of all this i still believe that cryptocurrencies will change the future of global finance which affects how we secure cryptocurrency in the future if you are planning to invest in cryptocurrency make sure to store your cryptocurrency in a safe and verified wallet or even better a physical drive it is considered one of the best ways of storing cryptocurrencies however if you lose the physical drive you will also lose the cryptocurrency that was stored in it do you guys remember the guy who lost his lo lost his drive which contained bitcoin his name is james howell who mined bitcoin back in 2013 before its price skyrocketed he accidentally threw the drive which contained the private key needed to use the bitcoins which is the same as losing the actual bitcoins it is best if you write down the private key on a piece of paper or in a notebook also don't blindly invest in untrusted coins without doing your proper research the best example is the squid game coin the price skyrocketed and the developers vanished with the money Finally it seems like India is still grappling with the concept of crypto cryptocurrency because the government banned the use of crypto in 2018 and then again legalized it in 2020 the government introduced a bill in late 2021 about cryptocurrency however its contents are still not public according to speculations crypto trading would be continued and the profit earned through crypto investing would be ta taxed crypto will not be a legal tender that is you will not be able to purchase any daily use items the government is thinking of regulating cryptocurrency which quite honestly just defeats the whole purpose of using cryptocurrency they might do this to reduce the number of criminal activities such as money laundering and using crypto to fund terrorist organizations the youth should know how to use cryptocurrency correctly and properly identify a scam or a shady website trying to steal their cryptocurrency therefore it is important for them to know about cryptocurrency in detail thank you and i hope you all have learned something new today